The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, seventh chapter, text number seven, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August thirteenth, nineteen seventy four, in Vrindavan, India. Mastha Palatarananya Kinchita Sidhananjaya Mai Sarva Midam Prutam Sutri Mani Galayo The controversy about the absolute truth, whether the absolute truth is form or formless. There are many philosophers. They, some of them are impersonalists and some of them are personalists. They, in India, the impersonalists are known as Mayavadi and the personalists they are known as Vaishnava. So, here the decision is given by Krishna Himself, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna means Bhagavan. Krishna Stu Bhagavan Sayam. This is the conclusion of Srimad Bhagavatam. And in the Rig Ved also it is said, Tat Vishnu Paramampadam. Vishnu is the Supreme. Sadapasant Sura. Those are demigods or advanced in spiritual knowledge, they always look after the lotus feet of Vishnu. But the demons, they do not know that the Vishnu is the supreme personality of Godhead, absolute truth. They cannot. Because they have taken the atheistic attitude, they cannot understand the Absolute Truth as the Supreme Person. Nati vidu sārta gatiṁ hi viṣṇu durāsayāji vahiratva māni andhāja thāndhai rupaniya māna stīpīsa tantra urudāmi vadhyā Urudāmi Vadhyā, we are so much conditioned as just like one hands and legs are tied up, he cannot do anything independently. Similarly, we are so much tied up by the stringent laws of nature that we are not at all independent. But we are trying to adjust things in this material world to be happy. Ah. This is not possible. Therefore Shastra says that they do not know the what is the aim of life. Nothing we do. They do not know. Sārtha-gatiṁ, everyone is self-interested. Each of us, every one of us, we have got our self-interest. But we do not know actually what is our self-interest. The self-interest is to understand Vishnu, tad Vishnu, paramam padam, that is our aim. Vishnu and Krishna are the same. But there is controversy whether 
Vishnu is secondary or Krishna is secondary. According to Shastra, nobody is secondary. Vishnu and Krishna, uh, they are simply expansion. They are not different. Advaita, Achyuta, Anadi, Ananta, Rupam. Vishnu has Ananta Rupa, unlimited forms. Saki, Advaita, Achyuta, they are not different. The other day I explained the candle, first candle, second candle, third candle, but no candle is less powerful than the other candle. This is the conclusion. So either we say Vishnu or we say Krishna or Rama, Nishinga, Balaram, they are all expansion of the Supreme Person Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Matta Paratharam Nanya. There is no more superior authority than me. This is the country. Matta from me. Na Anya. Nobody else is uh, superior. Uh, <coughs> that is the uh, conclusion of the Shastra. And Krishna personally also says, uh, Matta Paratarang Nanya Kinchi. Nobody. Uh, there is controversy. In another place Krishna says, Aham Adhi Devana. He is the origin of all demigods. The principal demigods are Vishnu uh, and Maheshar. And uh, Maheshar means Lord Shiva and Brahma. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha. So Krishna is the origin of Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha. Uh, they are gunavata for maintaining this material world. The material world is composed of three gunas, sattva, raja, tama. So the director of the Sattvagon department is Lord Vishnu. And the director of the Rajagon department is Lord Brahma. And the director of the Tamagon department is Lord Shiva. Uh, origin is Krishna. Therefore in the Srimad Bhagavatam it is concluded after describing all the incarnation of God, different incarnation, the conclusion is made, Ete Chāṁsakala Pumsa Krishna Su Bhagavān Sayam. All the incarnation mentioned in this chapter, they are either expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, or expansion of the expansion, secondary expansion. Angsa kala. Angsa means expansion, and kala means expansion of the expansion. Just like a first expansion is Balaram, and from Balaram, next expansion is the Chaturbhuva, Sankarsan, Pradyumna, Vasudev Pradyumna, Anuruddha, Sankarsan. Uh, this expansion are going on. Uh, but that expansion does not mean one expansion is less powerful than the other. Uh, it is transcendental. The same formula. Advaita, Achyuta, Nadi, Advaita, always Advaita, not different. Achyuta, not fall down. So, Krishna is the origin. Ishara Parama Krishna. They are Ishara. 
Ishara means controller, powerful. Even the demigods, they are also Ishara. You are also Ishara, I am also Ishara. Ishara means controller. Anyone who has got little control, he can be called Ishara. That is the dictionary meaning. But uh, even the original Ishara, namely Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, they are also not supreme Ishara. The supreme Ishara is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. That is the Sastric conclusion. So, Shastra says Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and Krishna himself also says, Matta Paratanam Nanath. Therefore, as Arjuna understood, Krishna, Parabrahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhava. So, Arjuna has said, that uh, uh, I heard from the Shastras about yourself, and you are personally speaking that you are the Supreme, and not only that, the great sages like Vyasadeva, Oshita Devara, great authorities, uh, they also admit that you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, there is no doubt. The conclusion is the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Krishna. As it was in the beginning said by Krishna, asaṁ sāyaṁ samadraṁmā mijatha jāsya sītacchim. Asaṁ sāyaṁ, without any doubt. So that the Krishna consciousness movement means you can understand who is the Supreme Personality of God. There are so many societies all over the world, so many religious systems, but they cannot give exact idea of the Supreme Personality of God. Some uh, has got some idea, others have got other idea. But uh, so far we are concerned, we are fixed up in Krishna, and that is right, because uh, Krishna is supported not by, not only by the Vedas and by the demigods headed by Lord Brahma and authorities like Vyasadeva, Oshita Devala, and Arjuna who heard Bhagavad-gītā personally from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he also admits all the ācāryas, uh, even Sankarācārya, although he was impersonalist, he admits Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Sabhagavān sāyaṁ Krishna, uh, Nārāyaṁ, uh, he also admits that Narayan is not uh, a person of this created material world. Narayana para of bhakta. And he admits also Krishna su, Sabhagavan Sayan Krishna, he has appeared as the son of Devoki and Vasudeva. He admits. So, Krishna is admitted as the Supreme Personality of Godhead by all authorities. There is no doubt about it. And Krishna personally confirms, matta paradaram nanya, there is no more superior uh, being than myself. So where is the difficulty to understand what is God? Huh? There is no difficulty. But if we are obstinate, if we do not try to understand what is God, that is a different thing. But uh, everything is there, so we should take it for acceptance that nobody is superior than Krishna. 
भागवत शेष कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं ब्रह्म संगीता शेष ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सो इट इज कॉन्क्लूज दिस नो कॉन्ट्रोवर्स मत परतरंग नान्य किंचित शक्ति धनंजय मुही सर्वविदम प्रोतम एवरीथिंग इज इन मी इट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट कृष्णा हैज गॉट टू एनर्जीज दैट लाइक हीट एंड लाइट the energies of the fire similarly krishna is enjoying uh, uh, his spiritual blissful life his spiritual uh, sachidananda vigraha ananda anandamaya vyasa so he is in vrindavan uh, having his ananda spiritual bliss enjoyment with his associates ever as eternal associates the gopis the coward boy his mother his father mother jasoda nando nando maharaj so he is enjoying in his abode goloka that is also confirmed गोलोक एव निवसती अखिलात्मभूत स्टील ही इज प्रेजेंट एवरीवेर एकांशीन स्थित जगत अंडातरस्थ परमाणु चयांतरस्थ इज विद इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज विद इन युअर हार्ट ईश्वर सर्वभूता देश अर्जुन तिष्ठति इन वन वर्ड विदाउट हेम नथिंग कैन एक्जिस्ट therefore it is said mai sarvam idam prutam everything is existing in me sarvam idam the two energies in the material world the two energies are working the two energies are from krishna therefore everything is resting on krishna In another place, Krishna says, "Maya tatamidam sadbam." The same thing. I am expanded. Tatam, tatam means expanded. So he is expanded by his energy. Just like the lamp is expanded by the light. Ah, when the illumination in the lamp will stop the expansion also will stop similarly whatever we see it is all resting on krishna's energy it is working on krishna's energy uh, just like i am it is not very difficult to understand just like i am what is i am am i this body no i am not this body the body is my house i am living in the house am i this mind no i am not this mind this is called meditation to understand i am not this body i am not this neeti neeti i am aham varmasmi so aham varmasmi dehi nasmi jatha dehi that brahma particular brahma is there within the body it is very small you that studies it is stated that ah uh, atma and paramatma they are living together and where is the atma paramatma the paramatma is stated also ईश्वर सार्वभूता निर्देश अर्जुन सो एवरीथिंग हा परमात्मा इज विद इन माय हार्ट एंड आई एम सिटिंग विथ परमात्मा देफ आई एम ऑल्सो विद इन दार्ट सो मेडिकल साइंस दे ऑल्सो नो दे टेक केयर ऑफ द हार्ट 
when the heart stops, when everything stops, that means when the atma goes out of heart, it has no meaning. Uh, so, in the small scale, the whole construction of this body is dependent on that atma. Uh, so, this is the example. That the atma is so small, one ten thousand part of the top of the hair. Because that small particle is there within this body, therefore it is so beautiful, it is nicely working, the brain is working, everything is. They are scientists that they are finding out trying to find out the, what is the living force. Sometimes they are catching the blood, sometimes they are catching the cells or these or that, but failure, because they could not capture the atma. Ah. But atma is so small, it is not possible, even you cannot see where it is, but it is perceived that there is something within this body, living force, generally they call it. Therefore the body is working. So, and the, it is spread all over the body. Jena sarva midam tatam vinashi tu tadvidhi jena sarva midam tatam That thing which is uh, sarvam idam pratam, spread all over the body as light, illumination. Uh, so I am atma, you are atma. So your illumination, consciousness is spread all over the body. Therefore, so long I am in this body, I feel pains and pleasure because consciousness is spread. In the same way, uh, as Krishna says, he is the supreme soul. I am individual, very, very minute, small particle, and Krishna is the supreme whole. So, as I am controlling uh, over this body, so where is the difficulty? Krishna is controlling over the whole universe. Where is the difficulty? There is no division. But we will not understand. That is the division. Here it is clear, it is said, Mai sarva vidam purutam sutre mani ganaiva. There is no difficulty. In another place also Krishna says, Maya tatamidam sarvam. Maya. The original is person, Maya, Aham, Maya. So by me, Sarvamidam Tatam. How? That is already explained. By the two energies, the spiritual energy and the material energy. Parana, Paraprakriti. That is explained in all over the universe creation. So where is the difficulty? Maya tatamidam sadvam, anything. That is Krishna's energy. Uh, therefore, those who are devotee, Vaishnav, they can understand that everything is Krishna's. I am also Krishna's energy. You are also Krishna's energy. Jiva Bhut. Aparayam mitasthu vidhi mei prakitiṁ parā jīva bhūt. We are parā prakiti. All of us, living entities, part and parcel of Krishna. So the living entity and this, this matter, two combination makes the whole creation. Everywhere the creation is going on. So therefore, the conclusion is maya tadamidam sadvam. 
everywhere I am expanded. Where is the difficult to understand? Sutre mani ganaiva, as the pearls are set up on a thread, standing, everything is dazzling, but they are all resting on the thread. Similarly, everything is resting on Krishna. Krishna is the support. We are discovering so many laws, or the laws are there, they are discovering the laws, but the original support is Krishna. The whole planetary system, the modern science says, the law of gravitation, uh, but that is not very perfectly explained. We can question there are so many things. But from the Vedic literature we understand that Krishna in his uh, ananta future, ananta dev or sesa sai, nag, the hoods are expanded and all the planets are resting on his hood. It is so small and the food is very big in the Chaitanya Chaita Amrita. So therefore, the planets are resting not on the law of gravitation but on the head of Krishna in his form of Sesha. This is our basic conclusion. So anyway you take what Krishna says, Mai sarva midam purutam. Everything resting on me. Uh, similarly, in the ninth chapter, Krishna says, Maya tata midam sardam jagat abhakta murtina. Uh, the energies are abhakta. Energy. Just like there is light, but it is impersonal. But the lamp is personal or localized. Similarly, Krishna's energies, or take another example, the sun sign is impersonal. But the sun is personal. Sun is not impersonal. Where from the sun sign is coming? It is coming from this sun globe. And within the sun globe, there is the sun god. His name is there also. Vivashan. Name means person. As the sun is person, and we worship the sun, Sabita, Om Bhur Vivashar, Tasabitu Varanam. So, this is the worship of the sun god, the morning sunrise. So, the sun god is also person. So, we can study. What is the nature of the absolute person? By studying the sun. Uh, the sun globe is localized, the sun sign is spread all over the universe, and within the sun globe there is the sun god, Vivashan. Similarly, the original planet is Goloka Vrindavan. Chintamani prakara sadma su kalpa vrikhala kabriti su suravi ravi palayam. Vaikuntralok, original, the Goloka Vrindavan, the abode of Krishna. So take it just like sun globe, and within the Goloka Vrindavan planet there is the Supreme Person Krishna, just like exactly within the sun, the person. Sun God, his name is Vivashan, and from that uh, globe, Goloka Vrindavan, there is rays, Jasaprabha Prabhavato Jagadana Koti, Koti Shubhasudhadi Vibhuti Vinnam. On account of that effulgence from the Goloka Vrindavan, there are innumerable spiritual and material planets. The spiritual planets are called uh, Vaikuntha Lokas, and in the material sphere, 
there are so many planets, uh, sun, moon, Venus, earth, so many, millions and millions. They are all resting on uh, that effulgence, from my fulgence, just saprabha. Just saprabha prabhavatu jagadannakut. Tat brahmananta sesa bhūtam govindam. The Brahma Jyoti is the rays of the bodily rays of Krishna. 